Hello everyone, welcome to Immigration Tube. My name is Sierra from Visa Place, where we keep you updated with the latest news in immigration and try our very hardest to help you throughout your immigration matters. If you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button up there so you're notified when we have a new video uploaded that could possibly help you out. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about three main reasons why your L1 visa may be denied. So let's get started. Employers and business owners in the United States are given the option to sponsor employees abroad that can bring specialized knowledge to their business. You can do this through an L-1 visa, which is broken into two subcategories, also known as the L-1A and the L-1B visa. The L-1A visa is specifically for executives and managers transferring to the U.S., and the L-1B is for other employees holding specialized knowledge or skills. There are a few main reasons why someone may get their L1 transfer visa rejected, and it's important to keep these things in mind before applying. Reason number one is the inability to prove specialized knowledge. There's been an increase in the L1 visa rejection rate due to the employers not proving that the employee has the necessary specialized knowledge that's invaluable to the American branch. Specialized knowledge is possessed by an individual that can provide product, services, research, equipment, techniques, management, or other interests that bring value to the American business. Reason number two, not enough evidence. When applying to be transferred through an L-1 visa, immigration services will not automatically believe that you hold specialized knowledge, so you will need to show evidence. You don't need to remove all doubt from the immigration officer's mind, but you just need to convince them that you are coming to the U.S. to perform the work that you say you are. And lastly, reason number three is the effect of politics. Although immigration officers are supposed to decide on cases solely on merits, some have assumed politics are starting to sway these L-1 visa decisions. This conclusion came about when the rejection rate rapidly increased a few years ago as politicians have the platform to sway these decisions. If you've been denied your L-1 visa, you are allowed to reapply after only three days after the first rejection. A couple alternative options is to appeal your rejection or find a better visa option for you. Receiving a visa refusal can be upsetting, but it's not over yet. Contact Visa Place today to get guidance on your next steps today.